Today, we're going to find out if we can create the conditions for life on the moon. We're going to make it habitable. There's a couple things I'm thinking to help get us started here. And the first is check out the Earth's, uh, you know, the makeup of the Earth composition and, and try to emulate the moons as close to that, knowing that it's not going to be exact. Then what we're going to have to do is give the moon an atmosphere, give it some water. Then what we're going to have to do is because the moon's tidally locked to Earth, it's just not rotating enough. It's not rotating fast enough, unlike the Earth. So what we're going to have to do is give it a little bit of a boost. Give it some extra speed. Get that rotation going so that all parts of the moon can uh, be nice and sunned um, for life. And I think we'll start with that and see what happens. So the first step is let's click on the Earth here and let us take a look at what is going on. Um, average temperature is about 7 degrees. The speed of the Earth is 30 kilometers a second. Um, rotational period, 0.9 days. Orbital period, 12 months. This is around the sun, by the way. Um, so that is all good. Let's go over to the composition here. 20, Basically 25% iron, 75% silicate, 0.2 water, and uh, 8.62E, which is a very tiny amount of hydrogen. So a very little amount of all those things. Um, it has an atmosphere, we know that. And as of right now, Earth's similarity, 99.8. I like how it's only 99.8 similar to the actual Earth, which it's supposed to be. And 97.7 um, life chance. So these are the conditions of the Earth that we need to recreate. So let's fire open the moon here. And let's drag the silicate all the way to 24.7, if we can do that. 24.8, that's fine. Silicate already moved itself to 75.2, which is great. Now we need that tiny little bit of water. Let's start putting some water on here. 0 0.02, remember. And so let's get that going here. here oh, oh, I see the water. It's coming. 0 0.02. There it is. There we go. Not bad. Moon's looking pretty livable so far. A lot of lakes, ponds, you know. Uh, it was very even spreading of the water there. Very nice. Okay, and hydrogen, just like the tiniest little baby amount of hydrogen. Let's just go with that. Um, we'll start with that. Okay. Looking good so far. Not too bad. Now let's get down here. Or do we have to go to surface? And now let's get an atmosphere going. So the atmosphere mass is going to be Earth's atmosphere. And let's start with um, half an Earth atmosphere, I guess, like 0 0.5. So we'll do 0.5. Start with that. Kind of looks like a little too much. Like we went too much. Let's take away by half, take away by half again. Oh, right now we have like an eighth of an Earth atmosphere. A little bit less, I think. That looks, that looks decent. It's got that little shine happening. Okay, so we got the atmosphere going now. Everything's looking okay. And now, uh, let's see if we've increased the life likelihood at all. 3%? Okay, so we went from 0 to 3%. So we're getting there. We are, we're definitely improving. Um, and now let's go over to the overview here. And I think what we want to do here is... Make this a lot faster. So rotational period, we want that. And the orbital period. Actually, first, let's just try this. Let's just try to match the Earth's speed and do 30 kilometers a second. Oh, jeez. 50. Why did I do 50? 30. There we go. 30 kilometers a second. We'll start with that. Um, and that will give it the Earth's kind of speed, okay? This is where I made the crucial mistake. Uh, no spoilers, but stay tuned. I feel like we could live on this. 3%. Okay, so did it go down? I think it went down. Um, we're spinning her too fast maybe now. But anyways, let's keep all this going normally. And let's speed up time and see what is going to happen here. Because for me, everything's, everything's kind of locked in. So let's start speeding up time. And we'll see what we get. But right now, we're moving at about two months per second. So we're going to see what happens to our uh, our beautiful planet here. It's looking good. The average temperature is, is plunging. It's keeping around 38, going down to 27. Oh, it looks like it's getting... Oh, it's 40. So it's getting hotter and hotter every <laughs> basically every couple months. This bad boy is heating up. Let's go over to the composition. Life is 3.4. Still around 3%. It's not horrible, but it's not great. It's not doing bad. It's very seasonal. 
The average temperature is right around what the Earth's is, which is like six and seven. Oh, it's because I'm on the Earth. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I'm on the Earth. Okay, well, hang on. Hang on, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did the moon go? Oh my god, the moon's all the way over here. What did we do to the moon? Well, now it's orbiting the sun. I think we sent it so fast that the moon just is now orbiting the sun. Like, it's, it, we, we gave it too much speed. We gave it too much speed, guys. Holy lord, now it's orbiting the sun. We've just sent it on its own mission. Um, okay. So now it's its own planet, basically. Planet orbiting the sun. We've created our own planet and we've sent it along its way. I think that was because of the speed. We sped it up and it um, fled off from the Earth. So let's look at the composition now. 3% still. We, I mean, we created a planet. We sent it to orbit the sun by itself. We sent it off from the Earth. And it is now doing its own thing. And the life like it, it's 3%. I mean, you could, we could possibly live on that. I don't know. We could possibly live on that. Um, We did it. I think, what what's left? What's left here? I don't know. We could get it up there, but um, I'm not sure how to. So if you guys know, if you guys have any ideas on how to better terraform this planet, please let me know, because I would love to know. And anyways, if you like this video, there'll be more coming, so please subscribe to this channel if you like the video. Also, give this video a like, and please comment um, if you want to do, if you have any ideas for me in other simulations, or if you have other games that you think are cool to play, or even if you have ideas about how to terraform the moon better than I did. Uh, because this is only 3%, so I think we can get it up there. But anyways, if you guys like this video, please, thank you for watching. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We'll see you on the next one.